This is a very sad uh, story right here out of Memphis, Tennessee. It's uh, very sad. These two young children um, were attacked by their mothers or by the family's pit, pit bulls. It was two of them and they have both um, were pronounced dead. Uh, I just read that the dogs have been uh, euthanized. The mother is fighting for her life. She's in critical condition at the hospital. Kirsty Jade Bernard, 30, has an uncountable amount of stitches and bite marks over her entire body, including her face, after she tried to save her children from a pit bull attack on Wednesday. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, well, it didn't happen today. It just made the news today. Um, looks like it happened Wednesday. This is what I have to say about that, this right here. There's going to be a lot of people saying, well, it's the way that these pit bulls are raised. It's never the pit bull, but it's something, it's something there. Man, you know, there's too many of these stories. They've been coming out for years about these pit bulls attacking folks and killing folks, attacking babies, killing babies. Yes, a certain percentage of them were raised wrong, but we cannot, it's like the, it's, you, you cannot overlook the fact that the data shows what is that up there? I hate when I get these pop-ups and I'm recording a video. But the data shows that um, you have a lot of attacks from these pit bulls. Um, I used to be an education major in college. And I switched my major. But I took a class called Nature versus Nurture. What determines who a person becomes? How you turn out in life? Is it how you were raised is, or is it how you were nurtured? Or is it something innate in you, ingrained in you? Is it something in your nature? No matter how you were raised, your nature will make you who you are. So there are all of these different opinions on how, why do people turn out the way they do? Is it nature versus nurture? But I think it's a little bit of both. But with pit bulls, I think it may be more, more nature, um, more of their nature. No matter, I, it was a lady in California, a young girl got attacked up there over there and people saw she was just walking her dog in the park and just walking it and out of nowhere the dog turned on her I can't tell how many how many stories I've read of people who say people who were attacked by these dogs they raised them from puppies and were good to them I just think man it may be some psychological issues with, with pit bulls it may be a genetic defect that's not present in all of them but is present in a high number of them. I've always been very suspect of how their heads are shaped and made. And, and, and just how they look at you. Pit bulls, more than any other dog, are quick to like make that eye contact and challenge you from that eye contact. I've seen pit bulls. You're walking up and they immediately hone in on your eyes as if trying to detect any type of slight fear, trying to size you up. It's just something about these dogs but I'm gonna just say this if you have an inf infant children or toddlers don't have these big aggressive breeds around them I don't care how that dog plays and croons and gets in your lap if it's a big aggressive breed 60 pounds of solid muscle or whatever the dog weighs you know hell I don't know but if it's solid muscle up on its legs it can get five feet, four feet, six. It can knock a grown man down and damage him. If it's an aggressive breed that can kill, if it's having a bad day, don't have them around your babies. Just don't. Not around your infants. Not around your toddlers. Especially not around your elders. You know, that's all I have to say.